All right, I'm looking at another weekly squirtle because it is about an hour until the new week starts and I believe a new puzzle will be posted. So I need to get this done. I've been gone. Uh, you, some of you may have noticed if you've been watching my videos, I've been on vacation, so I haven't had a chance to get to this yet. So um, we're gonna do this quick, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully quick. Uh, and I had a suggestion um, from someone to start with the words, I believe it's Xylem, Oxbow, Sixth, Flaxy, and Unmix for an excellent start using all the vowels. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do. So we're going to do Xylem, Sixth, Flaxy, ooh, that was bad, Unmix. And, oh, I forgot, ah, uh, I forgot Oxbow, okay. Well, we're gonna do them in a different order, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, and of course, there's no X in the grid. So, good thing we were doing words with lots of X's. Perfect. Okay, so, hmm. Now, interesting, there's an L in this column, and it's not first, it's not second, it's not third because of these white L's, so. There's an L in one of these two. There's an A. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay, let's look at vowels. Let's look at the vowels. So, there's an A in this column. That's all we really know. There's not an A in the row. I, there is an I in the second row and the second column. There's an E in the first column and the fourth column. Okay, so there's an E over here. It's either third or fifth. There's an O in one of these. Okay, there's O's. Ah, so there's an O in the first row and the fourth row, but they can't be in the first, fourth, or fifth columns. So we've got kind of an X-wing of O's here, for those of you that are familiar with the Sudoku terms. It's gonna be here and here, or here and here, or we could have a double O potentially in one of those rows. Hmm. It's not in an N, an L and an A. Okay, here, M, there's an M. M is interesting. M, E, and T. It's not gonna be M, T. And it's not T, M. So the M is gonna have to be, oh, and it can't be fourth. So this is this is gonna be an M. I'm gonna mark that as a for sure M because it can't be here because of the white, can't be there because of the red, and it's not gonna be M T. That wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. So there's an E in one of these two. Oh, and the E, so then the E is there. So this could be like steam. There is an S in this row. Steam would be good there. I like that, so let's try an S here, maybe. There's also an S in this first column, so it'd be good to do an S in this word. Um, now, I'm also sort of tempted to think there could be an S here just because of the red and the yellow, but it's not, certainly not, you know, not a for sure at all. Doesn't need to be. Um, oh, and this works out well, the M here with the M there. Yeah, I mean, we know there's an M there anyway, so. Um, Okay, so, hmm, what do we want to do? We don't know much. We don't know hard, but there is an O in the row here, not in the column. There's an E and a U over here. S, E, and U could do <laughs> Dr. Seuss. I don't think that's an acceptable word, but we could try it. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, uh, let's see, what about... Ooh, souse. That would be good, because we know there's an E and a U over here. We know there's an O up here. We're, I'm thinking an S here, maybe, for steam. Um, this could also be an S. There is an S in the row in the column. Let's go with that. I like that. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, and we found our O. Perfect. This is E. So there's a U. Uh, and it can't be first, because of the white U. So this is a U, guaranteed. All right, this this is interesting. E something something L. Hmm, not sure what that is yet. This isn't a U. Uh, let's see. This could be like purse, maybe. If we done. 
We haven't done a P or an R yet, so I like purse there. This could be, can't be posse, because we only have, we would have had the double arrows since we guessed a word with two S's. Plus can't be an E here. Okay, we're on the second row. Now U here is interesting with the T. There's an I as well. Maybe here? I don't like the I at the end, and I don't think it's gonna be UI, so I'm thinking right there. Maybe like Unite? Unite, there is an N, okay. Unite is good. And then, and an N here with the red N. Okay, so that's a good spot for an N right there. So, own on... Hmm, I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Let's just go with Unite. I think that has a good chance of being it. All right, it was Unite. Ooh, and it got us another green eye here. Awesome, okay. And we're down to two guesses, so it's a good thing that we're getting some, some words completed here. Okay, so... This could be like... Onion? Onion. Because we have the O there. This could be maybe... Could it be Enema? Enema or Enemy? No, there's no Y, so it can't be Enemy. Enema? That's possible. Sonar, maybe? Or Solar? There has to be an L in this column. Solar? Uh... This river? Could it be river? Mm, I don't like IVL. I mean, we don't know that this is an L. We do need to have an A. Oh, the A. Oh, um, hmm. So the A needs to. I mean. Put an A up there. This isn't necessarily a P. This could be like toast across here, and then terse, I don't think that's, that's not how you spell terse, that's T-E-R. Okay, if that's not the A, then they need to have an A down here somewhere. Oh, oh, what about, hold on, let's go back, put this back in. This could be aisle, and then risen, or riser, or... Hmm, that could be Isle though, and Risen. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Isle. I like Isle there. Okay, it was Isle, awesome. All right, so. And there is an E, yep, we knew that was an E already, okay. Yep, we already knew that. So I think this has gotta be Solar then, we've got the S and the L. I like Onion over here, Steam. I mean, the E and the M are for sure. So let's do, let's just continue with the columns. Let's do steam. Okay. Yep. It was steam, good. Now, what's gonna be over here? This is, this could be an N, it could also be an R. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 okay. Uh, uh, Terra. And, come on, there we go. And coast and curse, there we go, okay. I think that's gonna do it. So, Terra, yep, yep. And then we need to do curse, good. And then we just have to do, I think, onion, and that should do it. All right, perfect, there we go. All right, so that one wasn't too bad. Um, interesting starting with a bunch of words with X's and having no X in the grid, but of course, not having an X in the grid is not too surprising. Although, was it the week before, a couple weeks ago, we had one where there was like two or three X's in the grid, I think. Anyways, usually there's not X's in the grid, so. Uh, all right, so we had Coast, Unite, Riser, Solar, Enema, Curse, Onion, Isle, Steam, and Terra, so. Again, not too unusual words. We hadn't had really an unusual word for a few weeks in these weekly ones, so pretty interesting. Um, now, one thing I think is interesting is these weekly ones tend to have kind of similar words crossing, you know? Like, um, I don't know, solar and polar or something like that. But we didn't really have that this time at all, so pretty interesting. 
So all right, there you go. That was this weekly Squirtle. Uh, let me know how you did with this puzzle. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Oh, it could be... We could still have an S there. This could be artsy. <laughs> We're putting a lot of R's in the grid. So there, and there, and there we go. <laughs> all right, that was an easy one. Decided, maybe. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. We could do spool or after, or spoof and alter, either way. Oh, we could do whiz. There we go. Okay. Whew.